Good morning and welcome to Up to Speed. So, overnight, DJI have announced what is possibly the best drone camera we've seen yet, the Zenmuse X7. This is the first aerial camera to have a super 35 mm sensor, which is a huge step forward. This allows for better low light performance, higher dynamic range, higher color fidelity, and a shallower depth of field for when you want to use that. The super 35 mm sensor is a standard, which is in most cinematic video cameras for a good reason. And it's fantastic to be able to now fly one in such a small, low profile package. The X7 pairs with the Inspire 2, which at the moment most people will be using with their X5S camera. This was already a very powerful system, but stepping up from the Micro Four Thirds sensor in the X5S to the Super 35mm one in the X7 is going to be a big step forward. DJI claimed 14 stops of dynamic range with the X7, which is a big improvement over the 12.8 stops which they were claiming on the X5S. And we also get the ability to shoot 6K RAW files in Cinema DNG, or 5.2K ProRes for those who don't want to deal with the extra post workflow working in Cinema DNG brings. Image quality looks very promising in the launch film which they've shared. The X5S was already very impressive to be honest, and the X7 looks even better. We also get four new lenses for the camera. So you can choose between a 16, 24, 35, and 50 millimeter prime lens, all of which are f2.8 and made of carbon fiber in order to keep that weight down. The 16 millimeter, I'd guess, would probably be the most popular one for those wide drone establishing shots, which we all love. Interestingly, DJI have put a four stop ND filter into the 16 millimeter lens, which can be controlled from the ground with their DJI app. This is fantastic to see, ND is so needed, but it's only on the 16 millimeter one, which is a bit strange. I would have liked it on all the other lenses, but there must be some reason for that. All the lenses use the new DL mount, which hopefully will become a much needed standard for DJI's high-end drones. Their older cameras used a standard Micro Four Thirds mount, but could only use a few very specific lenses, which led to some real confusion with users. So hopefully with a new mount system of their own, there'll be a lot less confusion as to which lenses will work and which ones won't. DJI also have a whole new color system as well. They have a new log curve called D-Log and a new RGB color space called D-Gamut. This seems to be a much more familiar log curve for people used to working with log footage. And it is presumably one of the main reasons that DJI are claiming 14 stops of dynamic range with the X7. Now they also say they have a new EI mode, but give very little information about it and how it's gonna work. Hopefully, this is similar to the Cine EI mode on the Sony FS7, which lets you purposefully expose brighter or darker than average to get the best results. But we'll have to wait and see how that is gonna work with the X7. So, a camera for your Inspire 2 with a super 35 millimeter sensor, flat log curve, 6K RAW, and new lightweight lenses. This should be a great upgrade for drone pilots looking for the highest quality without having to strap large cameras onto the bottom of huge drones. The Inspire 2 with the next 7 equipped will be a very powerful and streamlined flying package. Let me know what you think of TGI's new camera in the comment section below, and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more updates like this one and reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.